Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and today is a makeup of the week. My everyday makeup bag, although it's sort of like my every week makeup bag, because as you all know, um, I, I did this series before. I'm starting it again, um, showing you the makeup products that I use for that week, because every week I like to kind of change out every product I use. That way I'm using everything that's in my collection, and that way I get a feel for if I really like a product or if I really don't like a product. So let me know um, with the stuff I'm showing if you use these products, um, if you've used them, do you like them, do you hate them, you know, tell me why. Um, I'd just love to know. So let's get started, shall we? And um, I'm in my Ladies First, my Disney's Princess shirt because I'm super excited about going to Disney. And I'm kind of testing some stuff out if I want to actually um, wear it while I'm down in Disney World. And in particular, one of those things was the foundation, so I just bought a new foundation, yes, for Disney World. I'm crazy. And I always like to start off with my primer, if I can find it in this heaping pile of stuff. Um, because I'm using the primer, um, I unboxed it a um, few videos back in the Sephora, Play by Sephora's Sephora Play. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer so far. I'm giving it two thumbs up. I like it. Of course, I do have dry skin, um, and it does seem to apply the makeup well. I've used it with two different kinds of foundation. I wish the sample was a little bit bigger, but not going to complain. I may buy the full size. May. Depends on how well I really, really like it. Um, now, these are my correctors. I've had these on here before. And that is the um, Boing uh, from Benefit uh, Concealer and also the Erase Paste, which this is the really old packaging. Um, you can see that. I think they're all just called Boing now. This actually included the Lemonade. I don't think they make any more, but I love it. It covers redness up. Excellent. I don't usually use the eye bright. It's more their purple or pink purple primer. And then of course this is my my HG for my under eye. It's the Benefit Erase Paste, which is now Boing, one of the Boings. And let's get right to a foundation. So the foundation I'm testing is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. It's oil free. And the reason why I picked this is it says medium to full coverage, oil free, controls oil all day, sweet, sweet, sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant, color true, and transfer resistant in a demi matte finish. So it's not like super matte, but it's by no means a, a like a radiant glowy finish. And this is what it looks like. Um, this is the first day I'm wearing it and so far I'm liking it. So we shall see how that wears. I thought it did really good with the Smashbox Primerizer. And then the other foundation, uh, cause I just bought this like yesterday. But I also had my Naked Skin from Urban Decay, which I really, really like, but I, I just wanted to try something new, um, even though I do really like this foundation. Concealer, this is probably the one that's, I'm either gonna take this or the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow Concealer. I think that's what it's called. No, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Get my brands right. I'm either going to take the Naked Skin or that Maybelline Fit Me um, as my concealer. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Coverage. Amazing concealer. Um, it's a lot of people's HG concealer. Um, although a lot of people have switched over to Shape Tape, but I've never tried that one. But if you're in the market for a new concealer, I would recommend the Weightless Skin Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer from Urban Decay. Um, powder, um, I know with a matte foundation I don't need a whole lot of powder, but this room will stay matte. I, I think it works so good for dry skin. This is a little um, poof I put in there myself. It doesn't come with a poof or anything. But usually using this with a brush or a poof is really good. Pa uh, sponge, poof, whatever you want to call those things. Um, for my bronzing, contouring, and all that. I'm using the IBY Beauty um, Highlight and Contour Palette. Um, this came in, I believe, a BoxyCharm that my sister 
received she didn't want and so I get the benefits of that and I really like this I think it's pretty good um good quality so um, but I think I'm taking my it cosmetics to Disney because that's that's my favorite uh, blush this is from Ofra and this is just their peach blush this is so pretty I think it's good great on almost any skin tone and um, just a very pretty flush flush of color and also um, it's very buildable like it's not you know you can go in a couple times into the blush and put it on your cheeks and not feel like you've got clown cheeks so this is this is good got that in Etsy um, and then I did also include another bronzer. This is if I wanted to just go a little more bronzy, even though I'm pale as can be. And this is from Buxom. It's called their uh, Hot Escapes Bronzer in Tahiti. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's a real pretty bronzer. I got it in a set with the mascara. Um, also included my Smashbox primer in case this primerizer didn't um, work out, but this is my HG, as you all know. Eyebrows, no difference uh, here or no surprises here. It's the Brow Gal and my L'Oreal. Um, the Pro Concealing and Contour, these are so good. These will probably always be in my makeup of the weeks. Um, the uh, makeup palette I'm using is the Glam Metals palette. The bestie got this in her boxy charm and didn't want it and I said well I will take it because it's right up my alley and um, it's got so many pretty colors um, you know they're shimmery shades I really really like it so far I, I'm gonna have to say it's pretty good so far it's pretty good I haven't really came across any shades I haven't really liked it's got a really great uh, black matte um, and it's not too harsh of a black um, if you were wanting to do liner with it you most certainly could but if you're just wanting to kind of go in the outer corner and darken it up um, it's it's really good for that um, but the only bad thing is it doesn't really have a crease shade so I have been using um, the ColourPop Paper Tiger I think that I had this in my last um, makeup of the week video and I really really love this like this is probably going to be in January's favorites because it's such a great um, crease shade to really blend in everything and I don't know it just works out really good for me um some liners I'm using this NYX uh, the faux blacks um, in midnight and it's actually a blue liner which I'm not sure how it may pick up black on camera, but it's actually like a really dark midnight blue color. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it more than I thought I would. And I'm also using the Stila. This is their uh, Stay All Day waterproof liquid eyeliner. Also, Urban Decay Heavy Metals. This is an ACDC. I will swatch it. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Cause it's kind of patchy and that's what it looks like it's pretty but it's patchy you know mm. oh I didn't even mention the uh, eye primer I'm using which is the Kat Von D I'm beginning to really really love this and I don't know if they make this anymore um, I think she still makes a primer it might be a different one but this is a really really good one and last but not least, mascara. Um, I'm using mascara primers, the Seals Booster XL, which I got in the Sephora Play. And then Smashbox um, X-Rated Mascara. I really like this. I don't know if, I haven't really heard much on YouTube or other social media about it. Um, but that's the wand and that's what it looks like. It's kind of shaped a little bit different than some mascara wands. Um, but I really like it. I think it does a great job. So that was everything for my makeup of the week. Love to know if you use these products um, or if you don't use them, why you don't like them or why you do use them and why you do like them. I would love to know. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to plug it all that in this video. 
And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.